All right, so join me here on a little fact-finding mission. This is supposed to be a picture taken from the ISS of a sprite over a thunderstorm on August 10th in Central America. That's all the information they give you. All right, so you can see there the red uh, sprite over the white thunderstorm. And then the lights from the ground, so it's obviously taken at night. Two more thunderstorms, two and a half really, kind of off the picture also out to sea, and then you can see the atmosphere, stars through the atmosphere, and then what they're saying is the moon up in the you know upper left. Now, obviously, we were told the moon reflects sunlight. I'm not quite sure this picture proves that. <clears throat> I'm not sure it disproves that either, but let's, let's keep going on our little fact-finding mission. All right, so here's what I can figure. If you look at the very bottom of the picture, you can see 9 August, so August 9th, and then skip the 15, 221, 234500. Zero, zero. So 2345. And this, of course, is UTC. So local time, it would be August 10th at like 2 in the morning, 245 in the morning, I believe. So this fits August 10th, 245. Um, this is obviously southern Mexico. You can see the Yucatan there sticking up into the Gulf of Mexico, and then South America to the bottom right, and then down, I'm sorry, Central America to the bottom right, and then off the picture. So now if you follow my cursor here, I'm circling there is the two storms that are offshore and the one there that goes off screen. And this that my cursor is circling here would be the Sprite-producing storm in extreme southern Mexico slash Guatemala. So now just to, uh, let's rotate the picture just so that I can get it consistent with that satellite imagery. So you can see there where the storms are, and then here they are on the satellite. So I zoomed in, obviously, a bit better so you could see it. Two storms and the storm on shore. So now let's go back to the original picture. It's still rotated here. So now take a look where the moon is and the brightness of it, the complete circularity as if it were a full moon. So let me zoom in on the actual moon so you can see it a little bit better. You know, I can't really get in any closer than that without it becoming really fuzzy. So, I mean, I would think based on this that the moon phase should be full, near full, at least, for the very least, more than half full moon. So, let's check it out. Go here, August 2015 on the top. Whoa, waning crescent. August 10th, 17% visible. Isn't that interesting? So, here's what it would have looked like from the ground according to this lunar phase website. I don't know about that, based on that picture. To me, that does not look the same. So we're going to go back to a different picture. Just notice that the light is on the left side, right, and the shadow is on the right. Okay, just So now we'll get ourselves oriented here again. So remember, uh, North America's to the top, South America to the bottom. So you got your north, south, east, and west. So east is to the right, and the Earth would be moving from left to right. So that's all, it's all correct so far. The moon is in the right spot. Right, here we go. So moon moon thing for Guatemala, August 2015. Last row, August 10th. Moon rise at 220. Moon set at 1526. So basically, according to this picture, I guess the moon has just come over the horizon and is visible in Guatemala. And that, again checks out. Seems to make sense. The only thing that doesn't make sense is the phase of the moon. It should just be a sliver. So this is a good representation here. You're going to look, it's the second from the right. You know, obviously the same thing with the uh, crescent of light on the left-hand side, shadow on the right. So I'm going to zoom in again here, and this is what it's, the middle picture. So that's where the moon is in the orbit, right? So the Earth is just going to rotate around, and the moon is going to stay in the exact same spot. So with the light coming for the sunlight coming from the top of this picture, Guatemala and the entire Earth, everywhere on the Earth is looking at the pretty much the back side of the moon with just seventeen percent crescent illuminated. So why does it look like a giant, complete ball of light in that picture? It doesn't 
makes sense to me. I mean, that I don't think that should look like that. I mean, it's got your traditional, with that whole diagonal line there, then you have that traditional, like, hourglass shape. You can see it on the top, that wedge, and then underneath there's a wedge. So it's like the light's coming from all sides here, it looks like. But that can't be, can it? Can it? I don't know. This just doesn't look right to me. So I'm going to say that that is the sun that we're looking at. I know you're not supposed to be able to think that that's the sun, but I think that's the sun. And then the moon is picked off to the right or the top or the bottom, not pictured. Moon's off, off camera. That's the sun, is my opinion. Now, you got to remember that relative to Earth, the moon and the sun are the same size. It's the only reason total eclipses work. They would appear the same size from Earth and or ISS near Earth space. It's just the sun is supposed to be really bright. Too bright to be looking at with this camera without burning out all the pixels. I don't know if that's necessarily true. I'm just saying. I don't know. But for, to say that that's the moon when it's supposed to be that sliver of a crescent, not buying that. So we need another explanation. My explanation is that that's the sun. Don't know if I'm right. Just my guess.